गुड आफ्टरनून एवरी वन सो आई एम संतोष एंड आई विल बी टेकिंग टू डेज क्लास बिकॉज यू नो सर इज ऑन लीव Uh, so is my screen visible so can you see this probability in stats the screen yes sir okay so you have to respond okay otherwise i will make you absent so i can call the person and if you don't respond i will make you absent so you have to be present here okay so uh so i have been informed that i have to start chapter 9 of the book so uh, the book in the syllabus we know already so we have to start chapter 9 okay and the chapter name is chapter 9 i will start from the book the name of the chapter is actually one or one and two sample estimation problems okay so one and two sample estimation problem so one sample or two sample you may have and we'll estimate the parameters involved in the sample or distribution okay so first of all i would like to ask you uh, so can you anyone can define estimator what is estimator so you have seen this word uh, earlier also in chapter 8 you have seen so can anyone define what is estimator uh, in your own word you may tell wrong answer it is no problem okay at least you try so anyone try to explain uh, what is estimator so this is not the first time you are listening this word right uh, you already know this word yeah anyone uh or why i have to ask one by one so each person so it's better those who know you can try you don't know still you can try like you have seen in last chapter so you may interpret in your own word okay do you know statistics so statistics not in broad sense statistics in uh, inference sense like we have uh, in probability in stats what is the meaning of statistics anyone no one knows so you all are so intelligent or you don't want to tell me uh, so that i will know that answer huh? is it yeah quickly okay uh, tell me do you know this word sample mean yeah sample mean so it is a addition sum of the values of the sample and then divided by the number of observations fine very good yes it is so in mathematical sense what do you say 1 upon n summation x i good uh so it is sample mean like you have a sample x1 x2 xn of size n so uh, you denote it by uh, we denote it by x bar and uh, correspond that sample this is i from 1 to n so this is a sample mean okay 
so go to the test you tried sample variants yes no it is sample variants you can try yes. Now, those who don't try cannot succeed you know so after trying you have two choices either you will succeed or fail but trying is better no then not trying yes anyone so what is sample variance so these are the things you have already done in last chapter so just somebody calling you so that i will use this words in this chapter so if you don't know then you will not understand the things so first you should know this i am just recalling these things so the summation of the values minus to mean and then square okay this is half correct but you tried values minus mean i from 1 to n and we take square you told and 1 upon n minus 1 and the notation is s square so sample variance the notation is s square and meaning is this 1 upon n minus 1 just remember it's not 1 upon n okay this is called sample variance of any samples okay now i will come to the word statistics so uh, before that na uh, so like suppose uh, let x1 x2 and xn be a random sample random sample of size n okay so we are talking about this so estimator means what so estimator we will we'll see so what is so first i will define this as statistics so what is statistics so uh, in inference in uh, since you are going to probability in statistics so in uh, it's not that statistics subject i'm not defining the subject i'm defining statistics in terms of a sample for a sample okay so statistics means a function of oh see one more thing here is x1 x2 xn be the random sample so what is meaning of random sample so random sample actually these are iid random variables iid so can anyone tell me the full form of iid uh anyone try so uh, again this word you have seen many times now because we are doing ninth chapter so in first eighth chapter you have seen this word so anyone please try what is the full form of iid i said x1 x2 xn be the random sample so i said random sample means iid random variables okay collection of iid random variables or you can say group of yeah so what is meaning of iid anyone what is the full form of iid or can you make me understand the meaning of this so independently and identical distributed random variable very good so yes it is uh independent and identically distributed fine so iid means independent so all random variables are independent so iid means independent independent and identically distributed okay identically distributed very good so this is so x1 x2 xn all are iid random variables so iid means uh, they are independent and they are identically distributed so what is meaning of identically distributed so they have same distribution okay all the random variable are have the same pdf okay so they are taken from the same uh, population you can say so that population have a unique pdf and cdf so uh, we have taken different samples so different random variables from that population okay so now i want to define statistics uh, in sense of inference so meaning it is a function of random variables x1 x2 xn so x1 comma x2 up to xn which does not involve which does not involve or which is free from any parameter any any unknown parameter so i am audible to everyone na so if something happens problems you may tell okay
so what is definition of statistics so statistics in inference is a function of random variables x1 x2 xn which does not involve any unknown parameter for example this x bar and s square these are statistics okay x bar and s square you can see this is a uh, x bar and s square so for example uh for example so for example x bar and s square are statistics okay and that a statistic is estimator so what is estimator so any statistics can be estimated okay any statistics so the meaning is estimator will never involve parameter okay so actually so now i will define estimator so any statistics can be estimated okay so estimator is nothing but a statistic simply okay so the main thing is for example i will tell you like one thing suppose you have population from like x1 x2 and xn these are all from population normal mu sigma square okay where mu is unknown and sigma square is also unknown okay so if i define a uh, suppose i define t t is like uh, i'm defining a function like suppose xi minus mu upon sigma okay so if i ask you whether t is an statistics or not question is can we say t is a statistics so my question is t is statistics or not so you have to answer in yes or no so option a is yes option b is no there are only two choice so can we say this t is an estimator or can estimator so other words so can we say it is a statistic simply so t is a statistic or not Ah, so read the definition. Definition of uh, statistics. Uh, again, I'm saying it is not subject to statistics. It is the statistics in sense of estimation. So uh, a function of random variables x1, x2, xn, which does not involve what you can write, which is free from any unknown parameter, which is free from any unknown parameter. Okay. So which is free from unknown parameter. which is free from any unknown parameter now you tell uh, read this question carefully and tell me can we say t is a statistics yes or no why you are taking too much time so x1 x2 xn are sample from normal mu sigma square so mu you know it's a both are parameter and i have taken both as unknown here so mean is mu and variance is sigma square i'm telling you uh, t as xi minus mu yeah i can tell uh, instead of xi if i take x bar suppose x bar minus something like that so can we say this is a statistics Hmm. You have to tell. Otherwise, I will not go ahead. I will not go ahead. So again, I am saying. Okay, I'm writing the definition of statistics again, and then on based on this definition, you have to tell. So it is I'm saying a function of random variables x1, x2, xn, or random sample you can say, random variables, which is free from. which is free from any unknown parameter 
so these are called parameters like here i did normal mu sigma square so normal uh, population has two parameters mu and sigma square so now you tell me uh, read this definition and based on this definition you tell me this t which i which i defined x bar minus mu upon sigma is it a statistics or not No sir. Uh, why? Because there are parameters like uh, mean uh, and x bar. Uh, yes. It is not free from them. Yes, because p involves mu and sigma. That is the problem. X bar is okay because x bar is a function of statistics. Summation x i only this. So this is okay. X bar is fine. But mu and sigma create problem because both are unknown parameter. and the way we define the statistics means it must be free from any unknown parameters so mu and sigma are involved in t so t is not a statistics okay so t is not a statistics and only statistics can be estimated okay so i'm saying so since we are going to estimation so that's why i'm defining so estimator so it is an statistics okay so any statistic can be estimated now i will come to the word does there is a word uh, will come to point estimation so we'll come to the word point estimation okay do you want to write it so i can wait for you if you want to write otherwise it's okay uh, recording is already now going so you may see there so what do you want it's okay if i don't give you time You can. It's all. Everything are in the book. So I'm teaching from the book only. Okay. So chapter nine you can open and you can read that. So I'm just explaining from that book only. Okay. So point estimation. So there are two things. Uh, one will be point estimation. One will be interval estimation in this chapter only. Okay. So what is point estimation? So if I define a uh, point estimation or point estimator, you know, like here is estimator. Estimator is the population that estimates the some parameter. Okay. So you may write it is a statistics that estimates, and you know, I have not completed, so you can write that estimates a parameter. So estimates means uh, like when population has unknown parameter, so you want to estimate the value. You want to guess or you want to estimate the values of that parameter. So statistics will tell you. so that is statistics is estimator okay uh what is the point estimation or point estimator so estimation is a like method so estimator is a statistics or point estimate you can say the estimate is the observed value of that statistics so point estimator so how will define so point estimator means it is exact value you say like uh, we estimate in a single point or uh, you say in a single value so if i write the definition so definition is so like a point estimator of some population parameter population parameter let's say theta now parameter can be anything like in normal it is mu sigma but here i'm taking in general we are considering theta as a parameter so a point estimator of a of some population parameter theta okay this is a single value single value and the notation will uh, consider is theta cap so notation is theta cap so point estimator of some population parameter theta is a single value theta cap so theta cap is estimator of the parameter theta so theta is parameter theta cap is estimator okay so uh, this is a single value theta cap
and you know that is also a statistics so that is a statistics you see okay so this theta gap is a statistic what is the statistic so it is a function of random variables so when you have values of random variable when you have observed values of random variable so for example uh, i think you know the uh, simply so for example i will tell for example you know i have taken x1 x2 and xn these are normal mu sigma square and you know what uh, just i'm for information i'm telling x bar okay x bar this is uh, i will call it mu cap mu cap so mu cap is estimator of mu this is estimator of mu okay from this population mu is parameter so this is estimator of parameter yeah unknown parameter mu so mu is the parameter you don't know the value of mu but you want to estimate so x bar is just for information i'm telling you this is uh, an estimator okay uh, let's say for example if i give you observed value so suppose uh, if i give you x1 is so suppose sample size is 5 5 means n is equal to 5 so that is n is 5 and small x1 when i write is the observed value of capital x1 so suppose this is 2 x2 i write 1 x3 i write 3 x4 i write 3.5 x5 i write 2.5 okay so these are observed value of random variables and now i will tell you based on this sample you estimate mu so find estimate of mu based on above observation find estimate of mu mu is a parameter based on above above observations so now you try and tell me this line is answer for this question so you may use this line okay but here i am writing question so this is the question what okay, is question 1 so sample size i have taken 5 in the corresponding to this example only uh, this sample only this values are given so question is find estimate of mu based on the above observation so everyone try and tell me yes so are you getting the point so 2.4 yes so uh, just what you have to do so let me check so if i write the solution this is very easy question trivial question so as i already told you that x bar is the estimator uh, used uh, you will use this so i told you this estimate and i use this 
condition I have already informed you. So uh, x bar you will find. So x bar is 1 upon n summation xi i from 1 to n. I want to find observed value. So we can write it like x bar as 1 by 5. So n is 5 summation xi i from 1 to 5. So it is like x bar as 1 by 5 and if you open it x1 plus x2 plus x3 plus x4 plus x5. Okay. So 1 by 5 you add all these values. Okay. So you will add. So it is like 2 plus 1 plus 3 plus 3.5 and plus 2.5. Now you add it uh, what it gives. So 2 plus 3, 3, 3 plus 3, 6, 6 plus 3, 9, 9 plus 3, 12. So 12 upon 5. So check the calculation. So it's a 2 point and uh, 5 fourths are 20. Okay. So 2.4. Yeah. So answer is correct. So this is the streamate. Okay. Streamate of mu. So we can say mu is uh, mu cap is 2.4. So we estimated mu. Okay. Mu was unknown. But here we estimated based on the given observation that mu value can be 2.4 or we can take the estimate as 2.4. Okay. So this is the point estimate. So we are telling single value corresponding to that parameter. And so later on you will also see, uh, you will see interval estimation. So this will come later on. The first I will, now I will discuss. Okay, so now the next term is unbiased estimator. There is a word unbiased estimator. So estimator you have seen, estimator is an statistics. So you have to check unbiased estimator. So what is unbiased estimator? Okay, so the definition if I tell, so an estimator or you can write a statistics, both are almost same. Okay, so like you may write, So an estimator or you can write a statistics. Okay. So a statistics, okay. a statistics or an estimator. You may write anywhere. So an estimator is said to be is said to be an unbiased estimator. Okay. Unbiased estimator. unbiased estimator of what of theta so suppose theta is a parameter okay an estimator you also name something so let me call it theta cap okay so estimator or statistic theta cap is said to be an unbiased estimator of theta if expectation of theta cap or instead of theta cap you may write t also t is also notation for the so it's okay theta cap book follows theta cap so theta cap is said to be the estimator of theta if e of theta cap is theta for all theta belongs to parameter space so this is a parameter space so this uh, is a small theta this is called big theta this we call small theta and this is called big theta so difference is what uh, big theta is a set of all values of theta okay so this is the definition. So uh, what is this? So if I explain, this is called parameter space. Uh, this is parameter space. Like you know the sample space. So collection of all outcomes of an experiment. So parameter space is collection of all values of parameter. So this is parameter space. Okay. So for example, suppose we say theta more than zero. So like parameter space will be zero to infinity. So when you say theta is more than zero, so parameter space is like zero to infinity like that. Okay, so you just see, so E of theta cap is theta, right? for theta belongs to this. 
or for all theta you may write if you don't want to write all this so for all theta it will work so in book you may find like this definition only only this thing okay so this is only this is enough and sometimes in lower level book you will find only this this is enough okay so now this is the definition of uh, unbiased estimator okay so now since i i am continuing that example so i will uh, tell you that so okay i will write one example so one question i'm trying so this question i'm writing uh, let x1 x2 xn be random sample from a population okay with mean mu okay and variance sigma square fine so uh, the population have mean mu and variance sigma square and both are unknown so both mu and sigma square are unknown so unknown means you have don't have the value of that if it is known then it, it will have some particular value so both mu and sigma square are unknown and now uh, the question to you is so first question you have to check whether so check whether x bar okay so check whether x bar is an unbiased estimator so i already told you that x bar is an estimator of uh, i already found no? so x bar is an estimator of mu okay this i told you now i am asking you to check whether x bar is an unbiased estimator this estimator is okay now i am asking you to check whether it is it is unbiased estimator so uh, for unbiased you have to remember the definition okay so i'm asking you check whether x y is an unbiased estimator of mu so question is check so you have to tell yes or no similarly s square you know so second question is check whether s square is an unbiased estimator of sigma square so you please try this because uh, uh, what is x bar and x square so you already know i can uh, write this for you also so x bar as we have seen x bar is nothing but 1 by n summation x i i from 1 to n what is s square so s square is 1 upon n minus 1 summation x i minus x bar whole square i from 1 to n okay these are statistics and you have to check whether x bar is an unbiased estimator of mu or whether second question is there are two questions first part and second part right first part and second part so now i will give you time you please try and answer only will be yes or no okay so in yes or no you have to tell in both the question answer is yes or no so like here i am writing uh, in exam uh, but at this time i think you don't have subjective exam It's okay. Otherwise, in exam they may ask you if it is. Then they will ask you prove that, or if it is not, then it will be prove that it is not or something like that. Okay, so you please try and tell me whether x bar is an unbiased estimator of mu. Yes or no? You try it and tell me.
Tell me for the first part, yes or no? You're taking too much time. Oh. So, what do you have to do in first part? You have to check whether x bar is unbiased estimator of mu. So, what is the definition? Theta cap is unbiased estimator of theta if expectation of theta cap is theta. So, check whether expectation of x bar is mu or not. So, find the mean of x bar and check it is coming mu or not. So none of you are able to solve. There are how many people are there? There are 49. Uh, currently it was 54. So no one is able to do. So what have you been doing in the last eight chapters? I already told you sample are IID. So IID means all will have the same mean. E of xi, E of x1 is equal to E of x2 is equal to E of x3 is equal to E of xn, all is equal to mu. So you all are what? B tech or BCA? So tell me anyone of you. So you all are B tech or what? B tech civil, is it? B tech sir. B tech civil. Branch, which branch? CS. Oh, you are a computer science. So computer science people are intelligent. I know CS are very intelligent people. I am also teaching third year B tech. So you can ask your seniors. 
like this to third year btech students python program i am teaching they are very good students there i hope you all are also but due to the covid and online things uh, things are difficult but still you try you know to manage so cs students are very good Okay, you all are second year, is it? Second year BTEC CSE. Yes, sir. Okay, okay. So see, because this thing will help you later on. So like, uh, you know, computer science and statistics, like they combinedly, you know, make the data science field. So to go into data science, you you must know the probability and statistics things because that will be used there. So data science is nothing but the you know, combination of like uh, statistics and computer science so some part of mathematics is also used okay uh, so uh, i will do this so now uh, what i uh, i was asking you so check whether xi is unbiased estimator of mu or not so the solution for the first part will be so they are indirectly asking me whether e of x bar will be mu or not they are asking this because of definition definition here is theta cap is the unbiased estimator of theta if e of theta cap is theta so the question first part is whether uh, it is unbiased from mu so means we have to check whether e of x bar is mu or not so this they are asking so okay let's start with lhs so i will start with the left hand side lhs means e of x bar i will solve and later on if i get mu then it is unbiased estimator okay so so let us solve so expectation you keep outside you write the definition of x bar so x bar we know uh, 1 by n summation xi i from 1 to n okay so uh, you know the notation so like the property of expectation is constant can be taken outside so there is no problem so constant can be taken outside so now it is expectation of uh, expectation of and you can open this if you want you open it like x1 plus x2 plus x3 and so on x n okay so i opened that one by n came out and expectation of all this so one by n and if you open it now using property of expectation so you can write e of x1 plus e of x2 properties of expectation so e of x n okay what i gonna do so now i will come uh, to the question whether i will ask what is the mean of x1 so here is x1 x2 xn be the random sample from population with mean mu so mean mu means each xi have the same mean because they are from uh, some from uh, from a sample uh, common sample from a sorry, i mean common population so that's why it is uh, everyone x1 x2 x3 xn all have the mean mu only so i will write here so check 1 by n so e x1 is mu so mean of x1 is mu e, e mean of x2 is mu and so on mean of xn is mu so all are mu we are adding mu n times so means 1 by n outside and uh, we are adding n times so n time will add n time mu n n cancelled so it is mu so what we got we got e of x bar is mu okay so any from anywhere any population you consider if you take a sample okay uh, with mean mu so then x bar will be unbiased estimator of mu so x bar is called sample mean okay this is called sample mean x bar and mu is called population mean which is unknown here population mean okay so what we'll do so we have concluded e of x bar is equal to mu so this population mu is when population population parameter is unknown then we estimate it okay from that sample so we conclude that yes x bar is unbiased estimator of mu okay this is now the second part so first part is easy second part is a little difficult so there are different way so i will do the way this book does but uh, second part uh, in different book you will see different methods some are easier some are difficult 
so but i will follow this so okay this is example 9.1 in your book so that i'm sorry okay and now i will come to the second part so first part is fine you may see it if you have doubt you may ask so just i i checked whether e of x bar is mu or not so it is x bar that's why x bar is the unbiased estimator of mu second part is uh s square is an unbiased estimator of sigma square yes or no so i will solve the second part so before that i will share you the link for that attendance actually i have not bought that attendance seat so i will take care of that attendance okay so i'm putting link into uh, this chat box so you just fill this form so this will be attendance seat for today okay so just fill it so from here i will mark it into attendance seat okay so this i'm teaching to you okay so till then you fill the google form and i'm solving second part of that question so second part is so it not accepting oh, any okay. responses oh got it got it so it is restricted so let me make it uh, so it is saying it is not restricted this is this no acha okay, this is not open this form is not open. Yeah. okay now you can fill so i'm solving second part so second part is uh, whether s square is an unbiased estimator of uh, sigma square or not so so again same question is whether expectation of s square is sigma square okay so i will start with the lhs so we'll find the s s e of s square so expectation of what is s square uh, actually like uh, we have one property also if you want to use that so it is easy like uh, n minus 1 s square upon sigma square this follows chi square n minus 1 uh, you may use this property directly you can do but uh, this is derived later on so it will come later on okay so if you use this this is very easy huh? so suppose i assume this so suppose i tell you uh, this is a one way so suppose uh, that if we know this uh, this is a theorem a result so suppose you know that n minus 1 s square upon sigma square has distribution chi square n minus 1 so what we can do simply we'll take expectation of this n minus 1 s square upon sigma square and so this is this has this distribution okay and what i can do hmm, do you know mean of chi square so mean of chi square distribution is degree of freedom itself so here is n minus 1 is the mean okay so uh, writing this means expectation of chi square n minus 1 and uh, so i will open it so this has this distribution uh, so what we can see uh, its property of expectation n minus 1 can be taken out sigma square can also be taken out because uh, s square is the statistics here okay so sigma square you can take out only statistics is s square so s square will involve xi and we will apply mean over x size and now a uh, mean of chi square n minus 1 so chi square distribution with n minus 1 degree of freedom has mean n minus 1 so if you simply solve it so you will get e of s square so this n minus 1 minus 1 cancel one time and sigma square went there so this is the one way okay so what i proved e of s square is sigma square so yes means sigma s square is unbiased estimator of sigma square okay this is the one way and the other way there are many way in different book you will see different way so uh, this book follows other way so i will solve the other way also 
वहां रखा होगा अच्छा एक मिनट पांच मिनट है बात पता So what I will do? Uh, okay, let me solve this. So other way, this book do this way. So expectation of uh, one by n minus one. You know the definition? X i minus x bar whole square i from one to n. And then if you open it, so one sorry, definition has n minus one upon the in denominator. So one upon n minus one expectation. You have summation x i minus x bar whole square i from one to n. Okay. The conclusion is this: uh, if you do this, you will get sigma square. Okay. So in hurry, I did something uh, wrong. So I or uh, like. So we have no more time. That's why. I did this. So conclusion is s square is the unbiased estimator of unbiased estimator of sigma square. That's it. So both question has answer yes. So x bar is the unbiased estimator of mu, and s square is the unbiased estimator of sigma square. That's proof you can see in the book. It is given. Proof is given. and that second row i also give okay so i hope everyone filled with attendance i will close this form and uh, thank you everyone okay so 50 response i got i am closing form thank you